So our quiz is almost ready. We have added the questions here, which are of multiple choice type, short answer, long answer. And now what we just have to do is assign this to the students. Now, if you remember, we also uh, accessed the quiz settings in which we chose the option of later after manual review, which meant that we would like to first review the answers and then assign score to the students. Now, as soon as you select this particular option, what happens is there is this field that comes up which collects the email ID of the student. Now, this will be used once you manually assign a score to the student and email will be sent to him or her as, uh, telling him about the score that he obtained. Now, let's just add one more question here and that will be related to name of the student. Let's create it as a short answer question. There is no answer key and let's make it a required aspect so that we can know the name of the student. Okay, last thing, let's just review the quiz to see if everything is okay. You can see this is the quiz that we have created. The next step is if you would like to assign the quiz at this particular point itself, then you just have to click on send. But if you do not want it to, assign, to be assigned now and you want it to be assigned at a later time, then you have to get back to your classroom page. Now, once you get back to your classroom page, what happens is there are some things that you have to correct. Now, first of all, you have to ensure that this is the number of points that you have assigned to the quiz. So this is 10. If you want to assign it to a particular topic, you put that here. Now you can definitely give it a time of launch and a time at which you would want the quiz to end. Now to do that, what you simply do is you can set a due date. So let's say I'm going to start the quiz at 2.15. I would like to end it at in 10 minutes duration. So that is at 2.25. So I select today's day and I just put in the time as 2.25 a.m. So this is the due date and time. Now, after this, there is this important thing that you have to remember. Whenever you would like to schedule your material for a later date or time, you're going to click on this arrow button. So I click on this and I click on schedule. And now I assign today's day and I assign the time. So let's say just in time, I would like it to be at 2.15 a.m. and I click on schedule. Okay, so now you can see this is a little grayish because it has not been launched as of now. As soon as the time is 2.15 a.m., this will be scheduled for the students and the students can access it. Now you provided it a time of 10 minutes, so the student will have to submit by 2.25. After that, there will be, uh, whenever a student would like to access the form and submit, you will get a notification that would an email notification that would say that the student submitted the assignment or the quiz late so this is how you can monitor that the assignment or the quiz has been submitted late you can also will have an option in which you will stop accepting responses after a particular point in time now how to evaluate the quiz after the student has submitted it we'll see in the next video